Good morning. It's a Saturday morning. Another beautiful day. A little cloudy. Might rain this afternoon or missed a good chance to rain anyway. So this week we've had a couple things occur. We've had the uh, tile guys showed up to tile the shower and uh, they worked all week on that. And uh, while I won't show it finished, I'll show it almost finished because uh, I'll show it finished uh, in the next video as they'll come seal it uh, in a couple days. But I want to get this video out. Another thing we're going to see is the guy showed up to measure for the countertops, brought his laser and all of that stuff. So uh, I guess that's the really big things that happened this week. I know that we are going to go into a lull is that the countertop guy told me that the materials were back ordered by a month so hopefully it'll be sooner than that but uh, we'll see so here we go they actually started tiling yesterday and got quite a quite a bit done so they've got all the tile set they've actually got the uh, edge put on and I actually believe it's all done. It's actually ready to uh, grout. I now got the uh, tilers in to do the walk-in shower. So they've actually put in a seat yesterday and they have been waterproofing the walls everywhere. Okay. So they've actually started putting down a floor in here and it's all stone and it's individual stones that they're putting down to create a pattern up here. So it's going to look a lot better than the standard sheets of stones, but this actually came in sheets of stones and they said it'll look a lot better if they pull it all off. So there's more labor involved but it's gonna look really nice and it's already looking nice okay so working after three days they've got the uh, one wall here done they've got this wall about half done and they have the niche done so two more days probably so sheldon is laying the rock individually because he made the decision <laughs> that it was yeah. on mats and so it would be easy to see the seam. So he actually pulled all the rock loose from the mats and has got quite a stack there and then has to piece it together individually. But on the other hand, Sheldon said he was gonna take a picture of this to keep. <laughs> so is that gonna be as a bad example, Sheldon, or is that because uh, you're proud of it? <laughs> because I'm proud of it. There you go. And and what not to do again. <laughs> exactly. But it does look great. Okay, so he just finished laying all the rock and wet it down so it doesn't suck the, the moisture out of the concrete down there. Then tomorrow he'll be back and then uh, do all the grouting of both the walls and the floor. He said it's going to take four bags of grout. Now, I don't know how much is in a bag, but I assume that's quite a bit. So anyway, next time you see this, it'll, uh, it'll actually have the, I'm waiting for the plumber. Right? So Johnny is measuring for the countertops using a laser to find all of the stop points, right, Johnny? Yes, sir. That's where it is. Each point will give me a distance. And as I'm shooting the back wall, which I'm about to do now, I'll shoot in four to six inch increments to pick up any fluctuation in the wall. Well, we know walls don't don't move. <laughs> Have you found any straight walls ever? Ah, uh, no, no. I was just about to say that. And then, do you have to put targets down? No, actually, you just shoot the uh, these targets from just to to orient the laser here. In the position that it is in the room and once that is established we can go ahead and shoot the face of the cabinets and then the walls which will give us the depth of the 
cabinet, and then we add our overhangs from the face of the cabinet. So most overhangs, an inch and a half. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, how do you handle a corner like this where you you come out here to come around? How, how do you handle that? Well, basically, or, measure to this point, right? And on site, obviously, it'll be but it'll butt to here, right? And we'll just create this little notch, okay, with the saw, and then slide it into it. Okay. To fit into that panel. All right. Imagine you get asked all these questions every time, right? I do. <laughs> I do. I've been doing it for a long time, so. But it's always, it's always fun talking to new people. That's that's kind of what, you know. Some people sit in the office all day and see the same, see different drawings all day long. I see different houses, different people, so it's a little bit more interesting than just being in the shop and being in the, in the office. So how do you account for the 30 inch wide stove and the 24 inch wide dishwasher? I will shoot a point on the stove to create... Because we know that's 30 inches across there. Yes, sir. To create that opening, and then I've got to make sure that it is perfectly square, so you're not sliding in the range and it's doing this number. Okay. You know, it's like a parallelogram, so to speak. Right. you got to make sure it's square. So we'll take a measurement from that end over there on the panel to that first opening. And once we get this side square here, and we like that measurement from there to here, then automatically we, we mirror that edge over here with the correct dimension, and then we're good. Cool. So it just takes one side, and then we can figure out the... Uh, Thank you. Okay, so that was the shower and the measuring of the countertops. Just found out that the plumber will show up on Tuesday to install the uh, mechanicals on the shower now that it's done and also to install the remaining toilets and put in all the hose, the bibs for the sinks and uh, so then then we'll be ready for the countertops when they come back. So uh, we'll have some stuff next week as well. So anyway, have a good one and give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the bell if you want to know. Leave a comment. All that good stuff. See ya.